all my fellow educators and language nerds. I'm Kate from the Living Room English Conversation School and today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on an authentic English uh, activity that I did with a few of my students in the past which is DIY art bottles. So at the Living Room we like to do lessons that are interactive and authentic so this was one that I did with a group of students just to get practicing and to have um, another opportunity to use language in daily life. So living in Thailand, for a lot of students, it's hard for them to find opportunities to speak English with one another outside of the classroom. So we did DIY bottle art together to practice language together in a safe and fun and authentic environment. So I just wanted to share this um, activity with fellow educators or just anyone interested in doing bottle art. I found it on Pinterest one day and I thought, hmm, I got a lot of extra I got a lot of extra bottles around the house. Why not make something out of it? So uh, I went on Pinterest and found all sorts of fun activities and went all around to the craft store. That's dangerous. Let me loose in the craft store with access to Pinterest. Dangerous. But that's beside the point. Um, so I thought it might be a fun activity. Students can sit and talk with each other. It's a great way to learn vocabulary about art. It's a great way to talk about things you like, favorites, colors, that kind of thing. And um, it's also a great way to express yourself, whether it's with art or with language. So as you can see, um, I have some chalkboard paint. You can write little quotes or little sayings. I had some students do song lyrics. One of mine was a quote from one of my favorite books, The Awakening. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's get right to it and I'll show you how to do some DIY art bottles. So here we go. All right, so here are some of the materials you're going to need. I have all of it written down below so that you can check it out there. But basically, you're going to need some bottles. There's some cute little ones, um, bigger grown-up ones. Um, and also different spray paint colors depending on which ones you like. I found one that was pretty cool that was kind of, um, uh, not clear, but kind of like an opaque, uh, not opaque, gave it a little, I don't know how to explain this, I'm not explaining it very well, but it, you can kind of see through it a little bit. Um, and then there's more solid colors. Also, if you're someone like me who loves glitter, gotta get the glitter. Um, to put on the glitter, a spray adhesive works best. And then also, if you're into little um, decorative tape, they have these at scrap looking stores, they're easy to get. You can also use acrylic paints if you want to do little designs with um, more detail with brushes. And also, paint pens are really useful for when you're writing little notes or quotes or lyrics. So, step one, where do we start? Well, you get your empty bottle, like so. And if you choose to, you can also use, I'm gonna grab this, masking tape and do little zigzags or little patterns on it. Today, I'm just gonna be doing um, a really basic design. Um, I don't know, I'm feeling kind of purple and pink today. So I'm gonna do a first coat of purple, and then I think I'm gonna do kind of like an ombre um, color over that with the pink. I'm probably gonna add some glitter, let's be real. Uh, so let's get started. So really, when you're using spray paint, you probably should be wearing a mask just for safety because they are chemicals, but you can't find mine today, so I'm just going to be trying to not inhale as much as I can. But if you um, can, find some sort of stick and make sure you have some sort of drop cloth or newspaper to um, put down so you don't get spray paint everywhere, and basically hold it about a foot away and kind of just go evenly around the bottle. So, there we go. Brain my cameraman a little bit. Sorry about that, Max. <laughs> you want to turn it and twist as you go so it gets a nice even coat of paint. If you go too close, it's going to get all bumpy and bubbly. So, don't do that. And then, once you think you got it, go ahead and let it dry for the next round. And, uh, yeah, we'll stop there. There are also chickens in the background, and I just wanted to highlight this tiny baby chick. My neighbors have chickens and look at the little tiny guy. Alright, so my purple's dry and I want to do a little ombre pink. 
So that is step two, and I'm just going to start at the bottom and kind of go around softly and lighten it up as I go around. So here we go. Ombre. See if it'll get even. Get more solid at the bottom. We want to get it more solid at the bottom, obviously. Those of you who know ombre, those of you who don't, it's darker at the bottom and lighter at the top. So I'm going to go around a little bit more, I think. Have a little gradation going to it. Glitter to it. Okay, so the last step that I'm gonna do today is a little bit difficult. It's using spray adhesive, and if you do it too close, it gets kind of bubbly. So you're gonna have to practice a little bit, or at least I had to if you're already expert at it, that's awesome. But this is for applying the glitter. So I'm gonna spray it off in the distance a little bit. See how it kind of gets a little bubbly? So we'll see what we can do. I might be doing it wrong. If I'm doing it wrong, please leave comments below. Um, and then I'm going to take my glitter and just kind of put it on the bottle and have a little tray to pick up the leftover ooh, glitter. And because I don't mind getting glitter on my hands, I'm going to push it in a little bit and rub it in. Make sure I get it all nice and even. And now I'll just sit and let it dry for the rest of the afternoon, but basically there's my DIY bottle art. If I wanted to, I could write a little note here with the paint pen or do a little extra decoration, put some um, colorful tape on it, but I think I'm good for right now. I'm just going to leave it as it is. There are many, many different ways to uh, do bottle art, so just have fun with it. Have your students have fun with it. And um, if you like this tutorial and want to see more like it, please leave comments below. If you have any suggestions or things to share, do the same. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, links below. If you want to hear more about um, authentic SL curriculum and updates from the living room. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. This is the final product. Oh, I got glitter absolutely everywhere, but that's okay. It's like I'm a fairy. It's like fairy dust.